hello um, uh, um, everyone on YouTube and Facebook. This is Ted Jones back back um, with a new video. Uh, um, I can't uh, I can't know sh know show my face right now because I'm um because I you know accidentally got into a relationship with a narcissist. You know that they're very um charming and charming and sweet in the beginning and he, he's not he didn't show his true self until now so I, I can't show my face you know how they hate to be exposed and the topic of my video is going to be um it's good it's going to be uh, how narcissists use and abuse and take advantage of good women um so please uh, like and subscribe and share my video and press the notification button to be no notified of my next upcoming video and, le and, um, and leave a comment in, in, the, in the comment area so it can be helpful to others. Uh, um, and, you, and also, you can leave a don donation towards my cha my um channel and my cash app. That's my um cash app um hashtag is dollar sign M A W one two three four Y. That's dollar sign M A W one two three four Y. Well, um. I had met this guy about five months ago. I don't want to give his his you no know, real name. Maybe later on, but right now, no. And, um. So uh, I'm gonna call him another name, Richard. I'm gonna call him Richard because I don't want to give his. That's not his real name, but. I'm going to call him Richard for this video because I don't want to give his real name. Because you piss a narcissist off if you expose them. They, they could kill you. Well, um, anyway, this is how we met. We were in a store, well, Family Dollar. I was in Family Dollar. No, just just minding my business. You no, know, looking at the press on nails because I you no know, love to have pretty nails. And he came right over to me and, and, and introduced himself and, and wanted to get my number. He he said, um, no, I was I was beautiful and asked for my number and I gave him his number. I gave him my number and I gave him mine because he sem seemed like a nice person. You know, real sweet. I had a, had a s sweet smile on his face. He s was smiling when I gave him the number. And, um... And I didn't call and text him right away. I didn't call and text him right away at all, and I'm doing this. Um, I didn't call. I waited a couple of days to text him, and he texts me. And, um, and he said he would. And I, um, and I asked him if he had a job. Yeah, he told me that he, he told me that he worked, um, and he was um, working at, at an agency until he finds something steady. I asked him did he have his own place. He said, no, I'm living. He's living with his parents. 
which I see the scene as a red flag. Which it, um Which I should, I should have seen that as a red flag. He said he lived with his parents. And um, asked him if he had a car. And I said, and he said, no, he don't have a car. As a matter of fact, he, his bike is a prim his primary transportation. Not a motorbike, a pedal bike. Uh-uh. So he inv invited me over. First, I had uh, first I kind of hesitated to, to to go over. No, but I went anyway just to see what he what he was all about. And um. And he sort of had to sneak sneak me in because his parents ain't like company there at the house. Uh, um. And yes, we and you know, we had relations. We had sex, and which it was I never should have did it until I you know kind of got to know him. You know, this one thing you no know, led to another temptation, and and that and that we well um that's we were having when we were having sex. You know, he was you no know, kissing me, just just all over me. Kissing me all on my neck, all on my, my mouth, and all on my all on my breast, and as if he hadn't ha had it in a, a long time in years. As a matter of fact, he kept his his self in me all night, and. Um, I, um, I think we, we went like three rounds. And then I went home that morning, you know, I, I drove home. But that was when I had my car. When I had a car, he still was riding a bike. And, um... So, so I, so I left. I, 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 I drove from his house. And, um, and then he, and then he texted me, asking me. The next day he texted me, asking me for ten dollars until he get paid. At first, I text and say I don't really have it. I'm struggling to see what one of you ask your, ask your parents. And he said, he said no. That, that he said never mind. That's okay. He said. Uh, he said, "Don't." Oh, he texted back and said, "No, that, that, that's okay, baby. Don't worry about it." Okay. So, um, I went. I went ahead and and, and cash app them the money. You know, um, just the help of Marks. I thought it was a, it was a nice person. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm I'm an empath. As a matter of fact, I texted him twenty dollars. Kind of feel sorry for him. I'm a, 
I'm an empath with no what will help people. And then I came and then I came back again a couple of nights a couple of nights later. Uh, each time I would go there, he would, you know, keep asking me f uh, for money, and I would give it to him. You know, he he said he was working, but obviously he didn't have a job. He was broke. And, um, and during that time, I was, you know, sort of camping out in my car, sleeping in my car, and you know, um, have a place at the time. I still had money and transportation. I was doing a lot better than what I was doing now. But, you know, he would, you know, keep asking me for money. You know, I didn't think that this guy was actually using me. Um, Then my car you no know, broke down and I lost my car and I really became homeless. Well when I when I told him that and I and I needed a place to stay, this this his this dude demeanor really changed. You know, I uh, I started getting you no know, passive aggression insults. And then I would give him money some, uh, half the time he uh, some of the time he had like he didn't he didn't want to let me in. And, uh um the, I'm doing a doing a hurricane, he um I had $80 to, 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 to sustain me through it. He, he, he made me give him that, that for smoke some weed, or I would have to go out in a hurricane. And it was just little just insults and abuse here and there mixed with love bombing and sex. And then, and then his parents moved out of the house and turned it over to him. Moved out of the house they was renting and, 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 and let him stay in it. And it's a, it's a three bedroom house and it costs a thousand, the rent is a thousand dollars a month. And, and he t told me, you know, he, you know, he sweet talked me, sold me a dream, saying if I, uh, it says, well, at first, before they parent, his parents move out, he asked me if I can, if, if we can get a place, a place together. And I, and I said, yeah, and he, you know, gave me a kiss in the mouth. And, um, and, um, and then that, that but his parents ended up moving out the house like a couple, like a month later, and, and he asked me if I want to rent this house. I said, cool, we can rent the house. And and he moved his three cousins and them said that he was going to, they weren't going to help. Well, two of them, two of them don't have a job, didn't have a job. And I had got my check on November the third, and we um had to pay the rent three three days later. 
while I end up having having to pay most of it because he, he, he only had a hundred and one of the cousins that had a job only had two hundred so I had to end up paying seven hundred of it shortly afterwards this this dude added to really got abusive it, it, You know, just this, 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 this calling me dumb and bees and and stuff and 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 then and, and then a week later he said tell me he want uh, he, he want me to move up because he's seeing, he's seeing another girl a prettier girl and. He's, he's seeing another woman. He want me to move. I need, I need to leave. And I told him, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have a house. You, you wouldn't have lost. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have a house. He would have lost the house. He wouldn't be able to make the rent. He wouldn't have enough for the rent. He literally pressured me and manipulated me and guilt me into paying it, even though I didn't want to, because I didn't think it was it was fair, and I needed my, my money. I get I get a you no know, once a month government check. It's, and I wanted to save my money for another car. And well. He gets mad when I talk when I talk about getting a car. That really pisses him pisses him off. Oh, you you thinking selfish? Never like when I talk about getting a car because narcissists don't like for you to have nothing that are better than better than what they have. You know, don't want to see me driving a car while he's driving a bike. They don't like that shit. Well, um. That's another video for another time. Oh, you say we? Oh, you 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 thinking selfish and want to go ahead and go ahead, go ahead and help us. We need you. We'll lose the house. We'll lose the house. You know the. This was after he moved his th three male cousins in. But he told me the rent would be less if they move in where, where I have help. But uh, I still end up having to pay the bulk of it, so it wasn't less to me. And, um, and it shortly a week later, he, he met a, another woman Want, want to put me uh, me out the room to sleep in the front room and um my, mind you his uh, female cousins uh, one of his female cousins sleeping no not female male three male cousins I, I, might, I might have said female cousins they are male they are men I, uh, I, I think I ac accidentally said female cousins they are male they are men which I had to end up covering the rent for like for like four grown men that that wasn't fair and and um well um he started, you know, talking to another woman. No, um, no, um, start saying, saying another woman and, and and talking about, you know, making the situation very uncomfortable for me. He made he made the situation very unpleasant, very abusive. After I helped him. 
made me feel very unwelcome. And and he wants me to leave the room for the past couple of weeks. Been trying to get me out the room because he want want to want to have that girl in there bring her around, parade her right in front of me, and and tell me he don't want to be with me anymore. And we did we had sex this this past. Tuesday and, and today is the 19th today is, I think that is the 19th or the 20th a Friday we had sex that that Tuesday night the next day still talking about he want to invite that girl over he, he want me to move out the room We've been having sex every day, just about every day, every day since we met, like, like about four or five months ago. And he would wants me out, call me, call me ugly. And this morning he went into a rage, narcissistic rage. Telling me, telling me to get out of my room, threw all my clothes out on, out on, all, all on the floor as if it was trash. But I washed hands and made and made sure he had clean underwears, cause he didn't have nothing clean and he was wearing dirty ones. And um. This, this to, and raised the bike, raised his bike. I was about over top, and he was getting ready to hit me with it. Just, just went crazy, and uh, telling me he want he want me out of his room, just 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 treating me horribly after I sacrificed. After a sac sacrifice, my money and, uh, and and what I wanted to do with it, you know, the, to better myself, my situation, and, and and treating me as like me like like he hate me, like I never done nothing for him. If it would, you know, flexing like he's better than me because he's renting a house he only paid a hundred dollars to rent it if he would have went through straight through the landlord he would have had to pay every bit of two thousand the house not even in his name is still in his parents name still in and I'm doing this video outside because I didn't want it, don't want his cousins to hear it. And he's telling me he's telling me I want want me out the room and be in the front room, sleeping in the front room with with his, with his one of his female cousins. Cause two of the rooms, two of the other cousins, it's got it's only three bedrooms. So, um, three of them are brothers, and sometimes, uh, well, there's really four of them, four brothers, only three of them stay there, and sometimes the other brother come over and, and stay and sleep in the front room. So he kicked me out in the front room with the guys, but very uncomfortable because they keep it cold out there, freezing, because, um, one of the brothers have asthma and can, can't take the heat so you got to keep it freezing cold bad from freezing cold no hot water because the hot water heater doesn't work after it's been fixed numerous numerous times still don't work and 
So I was heating up the water and washing up in the bedroom. Can't do that anymore. Got to wash up in a cold, freezing bathroom. Bathroom more, more colder than the rest of the house. I, I, I can't. He got a heater in this room, more warm and comfortable in his room, and, and now he puts me in a very uncomfortable situation after helping him keep a roof over his head because he didn't want to live with his parents because he says his parents are, uh, parents are too controlling. He didn't want to go by their rules. Falls and falls not smoking in a rhyme. Uh -uh. So um and the truth comes comes out. I you know I tell him if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have a house. He admit that. That, that, that he used me just to get a place and, and now he don't want me in his room he really don't want me in this house he wanted me to leave a week late, late at the pan when it was still at the beginning of the, of the month like around the ninth of the month after he helped me at that I mean after I helped him after he, you know he used me all up now he wants me to go he has no more use for me you know, oh. the red flags were there, but you no, know, I ignored them. You know, um, by the time you, you know, I ignored them. I was so trauma bond and emotion emotionally attached to them. By the by the time you find out the narcissist's true color. You already trauma bond. You already emotionally attached. Attached to him is is difficult to leave. It's like you're going to a depression. It's, it's, it's like when you want a drug. Once you you once you get that fix, you you, you, you got to keep looking for more for that good feeling. And, And I'm in an uncomfortable situation in the front room where it's cold, where, where the guys are sleeping at. And if I leave, I'll be back in a homeless situation again. So either way, I'm stuck. If he didn't want me to be there, he should have told me this in the, in the beginning of the month. He, he don't want to be with me anymore. And he don't want me there. I would have took my check and left. Yes, I would have been homeless for a minute, but I would have had all of my money to sustain me until I save up for a place and then get another car. And, um, and, you know, and do some vending for extra money. It doesn't pay pay all that much money, but it's it's something to sustain me. Uh -uh. But my uh, but my um my, my money is gone, and narcissists do this. They they do this to you. They discard you when you when you at your mer mercy when they financially abuse you and and um financially abuse for you and take from you and bring you all the way down to nothing. So um um so um I'm gonna conclude this video and uh, and I want to ask if um if it, if I can you know get any help or, or don donation 
to my cash app which is dollar sign maw1234y you know um you know so i can maybe you know run around you know um so you know i need at least um seven to a thousand dollars to sustain me until i get my check on the on the second you know, it's, it's, it's expensive out here. Um, you know, um, just 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 any donation will what um, would help. Every little bit helps. And please don't don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe to my channel. And, and, um. Push the notification button for the, the um, be notified of more more of my um, videos and, and and leave a comment. Thank you. I'll catch you later, YouTube.